Uh, so, when we go back to equations like this one, you have to put temperature into absolute. Otherwise, the zero makes no sense. So, I could take uh, a certain amount of energy, right, some temperature, and actually find out, for instance, with the skills you have right here, of how fast the air is moving, on average, on average. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Okay, wait, well, let, me, let me finish this one point, then we'll show them a video, then I'll tell them more cool stuff. Okay, all right, so this graph for the air temperature looks something more like that. Right here, this is sort of the average, the mean speed, right? Temperature goes with this. This might be for cold air. And a graph of the speeds for hot air might look like this. Hot air. Well, let me make sure that you can see the graphs differently. When I draw a graph like this, it has real meaning. It means, let's take the molecules in this room, and I take one, and, and I isolate it, and I take some big Doppler shift measurement. Somehow, I measure its speed. All right, so let's say this is the hot air room. I measure the speed, it's here. I take another molecule, I measure its speed, it's here. Another one, it's here, it's here, it's here, right? And I fill this chart up, moving all the measurements, and eventually, I'll fill in this chart. I'll fill in this as like a histogram. So there are, on a, on a hot day, there are some molecules moving slower than the air on a cold day. And there are, but on average, there are more moving faster. It's a distribution of speeds. <laughs> to use this equation to figure out what that is, we will figure out, and I'll just show you real quick, how fast the air is moving in a room that's at normal room temperature. So let's say we have a room at 68 Fahrenheit. That's 20 degrees Celsius. So that is 293 degrees uh, absolute, absolute temperature. Kelvin is the name of that scale. So absolute temperature is the same as Kelvin, or K, 293K. The Boltzmann's constant K, again, is something that uh, if you ever needed it, we would tell you what it is. Um, and to prevent me from writing it down incorrectly, I'll actually use my glasses. Aha! It's a piece of paper. All right. Uh, K, 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per degree Kelvin. So I will multiply 293 times this number, times three and a half, and that gives me joules. I can turn this into one half mv squared to find the kinetic energy of a molecule. I put in the mass of an air molecule, say nitrogen, one half, and the velocity I get is 510 meters per second, which is equal to 1,123 miles per hour. The air molecules, the oxygen and nitrogen molecules in this room are going 1,000 miles an hour. They're not all going the same direction, right? Or the whole building would get swept away. But that's how fast the molecules are moving that are hitting your hand. And when I put my hand over this and say, man, that is hot, on average, those molecules are going even faster.